Hey, welcome back. It's Artists and Guitars here in Nashville, Tennessee. I've got a Fender Telecaster from the Fender Custom Shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. gotten rid of some of the people that think I take up too much time. Let's discuss hello. We're in the middle of a months long worldwide situation where we have hopefully other things better to do, but in some cases probably not. So watching the internet and learning about inter internet and learning about interesting instruments on the internet, that's your three eyes for the day, alliteration. Um, if you've got lots of time on your hands, come and spend it with us. If you find that our videos are a little long-winded, we do too. That's it. Starting today with a Fender Telecaster from the Custom Shop. This is a double-bound Tele Custom. It's got a humbucker in the neck. Who do you think of when you think of a humbucker in the neck of a Telecaster? Yeah. What about, uh, yeah, what about Ed Bickert? Do you know who that is? My jazz chops aren't what they could be, but if I want to play jazz on a telly, Do I just keep rolling that tone knob back until it... I can do a lot on a Telecaster. If I put a Seymour Duncan Antiquity in the neck, I can do even more. Even more. But wait! There's more! It's still a Telecaster! That weird riff from the top. If I want to play some, some twangy twangy, I can twangy twangy. If I want to mellow it out a little bit, why not? Um, this is a very heavily relic to Telecaster, so obviously the neck is, is got... Turn that off. Obviously the neck has uh, a lack of, of nitro. This is a really comfy little neck. They have what we feature, what we call fret ghosting. That was a new term to me. I had no idea that's what they called uh, the, the little shadow around the frets, but fret ghosting, I love it. Love it. It sounds like it's Halloween. It's an orange guitar for Halloween with ghosting. Um, really not a whole heck of a lot to say about this. This is a really fun guitar to play. Um, surprisingly light for what I, I, maybe I was thinking it was going to be a little heavier. Let's listen to it with some drive in the bridge. <laughs> guitar does with a humbucker in the neck. They're different. <clears throat> it's pretty dark sounding to me, which is cool. I've got a, I've got a car sportsman. Sports, man! I've got a car sportsman um, with our typical Fender Santa Ana overdrive. If I take the drive back off again, you can hear um, what a single 12 from car will... <laughs> Let us know what you think. Um, again, send us your comments. Tell us what you think about the videos. If they're going on too long, you know what? Fast forward. If they're not long enough, I don't even want to tell you what's possible. So get on our website, artisanguitars.com. 
the YouTube channel, which you possibly are watching this video on right now. YouTube is a wonderful way to uh, hear content. You know there's a billion videos out there of people playing guitars like this. Um, if you're able to contact those people that make a great video that you like and let them know what you think, do it. You know you can get in touch with us. So if you like something you see or if you have suggestions or you want to listen to something specific, uh, per, for example, an antiquity in a Telecaster with some of the tone rolled off, I can do that for you. We can do that for you. This is what we live for. This guitar also features double pots. I want you to know what that means. It's, uh, it's, it's got a 500k pot for the humbucker. It's got a 250k pot for the single coil. Can you figure that one out? If you have questions, let us know. Thanks again for watching. This has been another edition of me taking up more of your time.